We're here in Edna and Harvey. Uh, the music is off. Uh, the game's finished. Uh, I still have to edit and render the footage. After Edna and Harvey, I think I'm going to take a break from adventure games for a little while. Uh, that's what these are called, if you don't know. Uh, I love them because of the strong stro storyline. But uh, the next thing I had intended was uh, Chaos on Deponia, and I'm not strongly motivated to play that. I tried the journey down, and I wasn't. There's hilarious bits in it, and then it seemed remarkably dry to me. I might try it again. I don't know. But whatever I do, I, I kind of like to play another adventure game, but maybe not for I don't know, maybe even a week or so. What I was thinking, I was, uh, when I finished, I was thinking about just a few days, but I'm thinking about a week or so. And I was going to try some uh, other games that have been on the back burner for a long time. With Scribble Knots, I've kind of got a silly game. And with Don't Starve, I've got whatever the hell it is. <laughs> and uh, the storyline of the adventure games has really appealed to me. That I don't. The Edna and Harvey ones and uh, the Lily and Harvey ones really, I was really drawn into the story and I don't see anything like that on the horizon. So I may just uh, play a few different kinds of games and, and, and see what I come up with. So that's kind of the plan as we speak and it's changed from the time I finished the game and drove up to the grocery store. I'm a little bit out of breath. Um, so anyway, and it'll it'll be, I'm not going to try to hold episodes or anything. As fast as I get the footage done, I'll put it up, so. And, uh, oh, there are two endings, and uh, I luckily had a save point because I've had so many bugs and glitches and sound problems with the game. But I have uh, both endings and then the full credits. The uh, Music at the end is in German, so don't beat your head against the wall trying to play with your volume control, figuring out what they're talking about. Uh, I did look briefly on Google. I'm not going to do a major search for it because I'm not good at that. But I did look for an English translation of the song. It didn't come up with anything, but uh, you know you can do that if you want to. If you find one, let me know. I'd be interested, but it's no big deal. Uh, so anyway, that's about it. Uh, we're going to slide right on into the uh, episode of Ed and Harvey. And here we are with Ed and Harvey. It's about 3.30 in the morning here at Central Standard Time. I meant to do this this afternoon, but I had a very rare opportunity to do a video with my 7-year-old nephew. And uh, he loves my Scribble Knots uh, series. And he's not able to make it into town very often, so it was, uh, eh, you know, one of those things. Okay, we're up in the kitchen, I believe. It's uh, toadstools growing in the pot on the stove and desolation mostly. Yeah, I don't think I've done anything here. God, this is grim and grisly. Uh... Well, let's get to work, girl. Oh, God, are we glitching? Yep, we're glitching. Son of a bitch bastard. Okay, I already glitched in this, so I'm going to try something simple like, uh, talk to Harvey. Hello, Harvey. Ah. Uh, Hello, Edna. What's up? Uh, nothing. Forget it. Oh, nothing. Forget it. Okay, now please work with me, game. A well-aged ah, mushroom yes. soup. Over ten years, in fact. It's <laughs> the only thing still alive in this house. Garf. I wonder who watered it all these years. Aren't those... Isn't there like a flood on the floor and open or broken windows? Hmm. Oh, shoot, I should have... Hmm. The water must have been cut off. Ah, no water. Okay, that's probably a clue. And I should have uh, had her talk to everything and been doing hard. How can I ever get everything clean again? Why uh, don't you leave it the way it is? 
Dirty is fun, you think? Not a happy place. I think it's your turn to do the dishes. <laughs> no, no, this I remember very clearly. <laughs> it's definitely your turn. You sure? Oh. Uh, flashes of an older sister. <laughs> Hello, ten-year-old mushroom soup. I'm back. Welcome home, Edna. It's stirring to see you again. Same here. It's always nice to see a familiar fungus. Uh, Chester in a pot on the stove. Come on, don't aggravate me. I'm tired. What do you think of it, Harvey? This toxicological experiment of your father's is a smashing success. If only he could have been here to see it. Oh, Harvey. Leave the ghosts alone. Yes. You are a good plant. A beautiful plant. I'll grow just fine without these awkward <laughs> attempts at encouragement. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, gosh, I remember when that was a fad. Talk to your plants. Read to your plants. Play music to your plants. <gasps> Look, Harvey. One of Dad's potted plants. What irony! It used to bore me to death. And now it's nearly dead itself. I think there's a <laughs> lesson in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking they ought to put some plants in front of a room and, and put faux news on 24 hours a day and then put, I don't know, a classical music TV show or something on in a different room with some plants and see what happens over a year. <laughs> Oh, what else? Uh, window, back door, pot. I, I don't. I think we know the back door is locked, don't we? Hmm, locked. Okay, now what about the window? And we've talked to doors. Give me a wow, break here. a real window. Oh yeah. And it shows me the garden. Not the asylum, showing you the barbed wire fence. Uh, and freedom. Yoo-hoo! Window! Oh, yes? How can I help you? Can I look through you? Be my guest. Just don't leave a nose <laughs> print. <laughs> Your nose is breathing. Don't press it against the window. Everything's quiet out there. We're home at last, Harvey. Let's find your room. Then we'll have truly made it all the way. A clue! Good old Harvey. Gosh, what was it? MacGuffin. Something that drives the plot. Do you think anybody can get in here, Harvey? How could they? Even we didn't make it, and we are supposed to be the experts, aren't we? Okay, I think we're going through the passageway. Let's roll, troll. Whoa! Wow. It shows me what's outside the house. Darkness. Well, I was going to say, well, duh. It's in the living room. Uh, coats, mirror, front door, plant. Everything's dead here. Now, when I first heard that wind and all, it was st in, the, in the background sound. Uh, it was storming like hell here. The power, actually, the game, the computer, everything crashed. The power in the house went out. And I thought that noise was here uh, from the storm. But uh, some of it was, but some of it was actually the game. Can you tell me where the compost heap is? I am the compost. Oh. oh I saw that one coming. Dad's coat was ragged even back then. Ouch. Hello? Cloaked in silence. That knocking sound is the game also. Look, Harvey. Dad's coats. If Mr. Frock ever saw these, he'd have a heart attack. <laughs> I forgot about old Frocky. I guess all my clothes are still up in my room. I guess all my clothes are still up in my room. Oh, the mirror. Uh, gosh, that'd be pretty ghastly after you've been where she's been. 
It's so dusty, I can't even see myself. Just as well, Edna. Hello? Is Edna there? Only a little she bit. She won't be coming out to play today. Yes, but she will be eventually, trust me. Look, Harvey, that's you. Eee! Why didn't somebody <laughs> tell me I had food stuck in my teeth? Oh, oh, Harvey. Hmm, locked. Knock, knock. Do you really think I'd fall for that, Etna? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna miss you, love. Do you think anybody can get in here, Harvey? How could they? Even we didn't make it, and we are supposed to be the experts, aren't we? So, I'm thinking the living room, and then we go upstairs. Now, I didn't try to pick up the pot in the kitchen, but we're carrying a pot, so... Oh, my gosh. Ugh, I'm drinking coffee tonight. I'm almost out of Mountain Dew. I need to go to the grocery store, and I really don't want to. I've got the dentist Monday. So today I must take the excessive amounts of blood pressure medicine. However, it's my last cavity, so hopefully... Uh, and it's not even a cavity. It's a uh, filling that's wearing out. This happens when you're 60. Table painting and a French door. Uh, table probably closest. The old mahogany table. It used to have a beautiful shiny finish. Hey, you remember? I never wanted to eat my tuna soup. How could I forget? You collected it, stored it, and then built a giant <laughs> wall! <laughs> Alfred couldn't get rid of the stench for weeks. Tuna soup. See, and I'm not thinking fresh uh, tuna chunked up. I'm thinking tuna out of a can here. Do you remember this table, Harvey? This is where we sat, solved jigsaw puzzles, and played Spanish Inquisition with Alfred. I wonder if his toenails ever grew back. <laughs> oh, well, at least he's out of his misery now. Isn't I remember it? this painting. It shows the landscape from a Cold Cuts commercial. Okay. I don't even fully understand that. I can't. The sight leaves me speechless. Sounds like ghosts in house. Look, Harvey. Our old painting. Obviously, even the burglars <laughs> didn't want it. <laughs> I can see the porch. Well... C is an exaggeration. I can guess it's there because I know that it is. Uh, sometimes that's enough. Hello? Is anybody out there? Theoretically, someone could be standing right in front of me. I wouldn't be able to see him. That's a scary damn thought. If you're a girl her size and alone in a messed up old house... Everything's quiet out there. We're home at last, Harvey. Bedroom, Let's right, find Harvey? Your room. Then yep. we'll have truly made it all the way. Okay, Harvey. I know a clue what it bashes me in the face repeatedly. Oh, uh, study, bathroom, classroom, and up. So let's just do them in order. Oh my gosh. I think old Mattis didn't have squat for money, did he? I, I was, well, yeah, there's a, well, I was going to say there's a lighter. It must be his study, but that does. <laughs> and there's a picture of Edna, I'd say. Hey, this yep. is a picture of me. Are you trying to tell me something, Edna? Your fault. Your fault. Your fault. Ah, uh, no! Stop that! Harry, right, I'm going to choke your last. That brings up the specter of her accidentally killing Alfred, but that wouldn't explain the cover-up. Do you know when this picture was taken, Harvey? Hmm, I don't think I was there. 
Maybe not so much Harvey before the asylum. I can see the moon through this window, like it used to be. Will you show me the moon window? Eh, no. Shouldn't you rather look to what lies before you? Yes, you're right. I should quit dreaming. Moon? I just, I doubt it's anything, but the moon sure has been a recurring theme. Everything's quiet out there. Let's find your room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get off me, stupid Muppet. Uh... Sometimes my father worked so late that a candle like this would burn to the stump. Uh, yeah, so y'all didn't have electricity, huh? I wonder if Dad has light where he is right now. Ouch. I used to read with with the can. I we storms used to knock power out a lot more than they do now. And I'd read with my candlelight. Good grief! You'd have, to have fifty of those damn things to see your hand in front of your face. Well, to read with anyway. Does this candle remind you of anything, Harvey? Just that I'm beginning to feel sleepy. I know. It was a busy day, little buddy. Um. It belongs on my father's desk. My father's lighter. Fibble, fibble, fark. Light in the dark. Okay, that's one I have not heard. I was never allowed <laughs> to play with it back then. And now, I don't know if I'd still enjoy it. Come on! We can finally smoke out Alfred's ant ranch! Alfred is dead, Harvey. How long do ants live? <laughs> My father never allowed me to play with it, but I can't see him anywhere. <sighs> there you go. Watch it, Claw Hand! Firebolt plans his dragon breath attack! <laughs> Firebolt doesn't stand a chance against Claw Hand! Oh yeah? And how's he gonna counter the dragon breath attack? With the electric crab shell shield, I should think! Huh! I wanna see this! Dang! The crab shell shield holds up! Pull out, Firebolt! Back to the volcano cave! <laughs> Reminds me of those uh, uh, commercials for kids' toys on, I don't know, whatever cartoons. And, oh, so and so, so and so, 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 so. Actually, it's like two six inch tall plastic models that don't do a damn thing. <laughs> we should set the shovel on fire. No, Harvey, we shouldn't do that. But, no. Aw, oh, poor Harvey. We should set something on fire. I Basically, understand that. Basically, this is not a bad idea. But the flame would be much too weak to bake the clay. So a let's burn something really big. Another clue. The clay must be baked. And we have the lighter to light something. Hmm, like a furnace. Hmm, maybe I could melt down the key again. But not like this. Do you think? Maybe we ought to put it in the pot. <laughs> this doesn't achieve anything. I uh, need a real furnace. <gasps> like the one in the basement. Oh. Hmm. Doesn't burn. Bad done here. She came out of the blue. She walked composed, and her gaze was cold as ice. And the teeth of her pinking shears were black from soot. You gotta wonder why they were moved to do that one. <laughs> 